Hello, Cosmic Explorers! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mysteries of the universe and beyond. Today we're honored to share incredible insights from the renowned Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. But before we get started, if you're passionate about expanding your cosmic consciousness and discovering the universe's secrets, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up. This helps us reach more truth seekers like you. Also, remember that we host a live webinar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to visit the link in the description for more information. But for now, here's today's video. Those who are ready to ascend are said to have done the work. It seems that doing the work is related to processing stuck emotions or past hurt and resentment. Can you expand on this? And can you share more on what the A's recommended about clearing stuck emotions for a personal lifetime of pain? Who asked that question? Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer, you know, there is no one answer to that question. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> if you go to Defending Sacred, I mean, if you go to to the web page, alexcollier.org, that James put together, it's a tribute page. I have, I'm not, I don't have anything to do with it, although that's become the archives. There is a, I think the book section, you can go in and you can download for free Defending Sacred Ground. There's a lot of information in there. Once you weed through some of the older stuff and the dated stuff that was based on multiple timelines, all that information changed in 2012 when the merging of the timelines occurred. So all those other probable futures just went away because of the merging of the timelines. The bottom line is this. And I will try to simplify this. Well, I, I still use crayons. So let me just say that up front. I still use crayons. It's very difficult to build a future and to move into that future carrying the weight of the past. I think we've all been hurt, we've all been betrayed, we've all been screwed over in one way or another. And we've all fucked up in one way or another. But there has to come a point where you, you can look at those things and say, okay, where I was hurt, I've grown from that. I'm now stronger because of those experiences, even though I don't, I didn't want to go through them at the time. But I survived. I've moved down the stream, down the river, and I am miles from where I was when that event occurred. And here I am on the shore, the sun is shining. <coughs> I've grown, I've matured, and I am stronger because of the experience. So I'm going to let that go. I'm going to forgive and just let it go. And this huge weight comes off of you because you let it go. And on an energetic level, not only do you release it, but it releases them from it as well, whether you're in touch with them or not. Because we're all one. We are all one. If you can do that with each of these episodes, and hopefully for you it's just a scant fear, what you realize is now you can move faster and faster toward your future 
because there's no weight. You have no reason to look back at all because the future isn't behind you. It's always directly in front of you. And you will find yourself accelerating faster and faster toward your future. Just got to want to let it go. It isn't who you are anymore. It just isn't. You're a completely different person from that wounded soul back then. <clears throat> the only reason, well, I'm, I'm not sure your reason for caring it still is. I don't know. But we're all different. <clears throat> there is no joy, no growth. And no strength in being a victim. None. To unconditionally be responsible for oneself without being coerced by some higher authority. Don't let the past coerce you to remain a victim or powerless. Let it go. That's what I'm thinking. And that's how I that's how I look at this. <clears throat> I've read the books, and most of them have been written by, by people who have copied the work of other people who have never had my experiences. So they couldn't possibly relate. So I had to figure it out myself, and I and I did. And, and that works for me. I've, every time I let it, something go or I did let something go, I became more empowered. And I became clearer and clearer about what it is that I want and what I don't want. <clears throat> you know, and it radically changed how I look at relationships. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos. We hope Alex Collier's insights have inspired you to look beyond the ordinary and embrace the extraordinary. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We do read all the comments. Your feedback helps us create better content and brings us closer as a community of truth seekers. Together we can make a difference. Let's spread the light, expand our consciousness, and continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.com dot org.